If you're thinking of buying a handheld console but can't decide which one to choose, we're about to make that decision a lot more complicated. I've just seen some tests of the One X Fly Phone Pro, a powerful portable console, and it not only looks great, but also has a very impressive set of specifications. So let me tell you what it's capable of. But first, let me give you an overview of this device. For those who don't know, it's One X Player's newest portable gaming PC, boasting a 144Hz OLED screen for smooth visuals, a whopping 2 terabytes of storage for all your games, and a state-of-the-art Ryzen CPU that's almost guaranteed to deliver top-notch performance. Simply put, it's a suitable contender for one of the best Steam Deck alternatives, beating impressive options like the Asus ROG Ally and the Lenovo Legion Go, as well as the Steam Deck OLED itself. We've seen One X Player offer an inspired design before with the One X Player 2 Pro, which used the purple and green theme of the famous EVA1. However, the One X Play Phone Pro also launched EVA2, as the name suggests, takes inspiration from Asuka's red and orange even Goan unit. Given how popular Asuka is with the series community, we can imagine that this will become quite a popular collectible item, even for those who aren't looking for a portable games console. However, although the One X Fly Phone Pro EVA2 edition looks quite impressive, it can also be quite expensive. The regular Phone Pro is already well over $1,000, and that's just for the 1TB version, with the price going up to close to $1,500 for the 2TB version. With that in mind, there's reason to believe that this EVA edition could cost as much as $1,500, not more. While it may be an impressive piece of kit, it's almost the equivalent price of three individual Steam Deck OLD units. Getting back to the standard Phone Pro, I don't even need to tell you what it's capable of as it can run everything that's available and stable these days when it comes to emulators. What's more, it promises unparalleled visual quality with the latest upgrade to an OLED screen with a brightness of 800 nits, a pixel density of 315 ppi, a high refresh rate of 144 Hz, and an impressive contrast ratio. This high performance is due to its system on a chip, the AMD Ryzen AI9, and its Radeon 890 GPU. Let's take a closer look at its benchmark results which can be boring but important, and I'll try to be as brief as possible. Geekbench AI is a new benchmark developed by Primate Labs to measure the performance of devices in artificial intelligence tasks. It provides three types of scores that reflect different levels of precision used in AI tasks. Single precision uses 32-bit data and offers the highest precision of the three options generally results in more accurate calculations, but can be slower. Half precision uses 16-bit data and offers a balance between precision and speed, generally faster than single precision, but with a slight loss of precision. Finally, quantized generally uses 8-bit data and offers the highest speed, but the lowest precision. It is useful for inference on devices with limited resources. That said, Phone Pro's AI performance scores have a significant impact on game emulation, especially for more demanding systems like the PlayStation 3. The AMD Radeon 890 GPU with Onyx Direct ML demonstrates excellent performance in single precision and half precision which is crucial for graphics rendering and complex calculations required in advanced emulators. This translates into a superior ability to faithfully reproduce the graphics and physics of the original games while maintaining high frame rates. Its performance with OpenVINO and Onyx is also remarkable, especially in quantized operations, which is beneficial for emulation optimizations that use AI techniques to improve efficiency. This combination of high GPU and CPU performance allows One X Fly Phone Pro to handle the complexities of the PS3's architecture, such as its cell processor and RSX, more effectively. 
This results in more accurate and fluid emulation with fewer compatibility issues and better overall performance in PS3 games, which are known to be challenging to emulate due to their unique architecture. In addition, these AI capabilities can be harnessed for advanced upskilling and texture enhancement techniques, potentially allowing PS3 games to be played at higher resolutions and with improved visuals compared to the original hardware. Moving on to CPU and API scores, Phone Pro's exceptional performance, evidenced by impressive scores in single core, multi core, OpenCL, and Vulkan, has a significant impact on the emulation of a wide range of consoles, from the GameCube to the Nintendo Switch. This single core score is crucial for emulators that rely heavily on single core performance, such as those for uh, GameCube and Wii. This means that games from these systems will run smoothly, possibly at higher resolutions than the originals, and with additional graphical improvements. The multi-core score, on the other hand, is particularly important for emulators of more recent and complex systems, such as PS3 and Wii U. This score indicates that the device can efficiently handle the multiple simultaneous tasks required to emulate these consoles resulting in more stable gameplay and fewer frame rate drops. The impressive OpenCL score and Vulkan score are crucial for graphics performance in emulation. These scores suggest that Phone Pro can handle advanced graphics rendering, essential for PS3 and Switch emulators, and even for visually enhancing games from previous generations. This allows it not only to emulate games in their native resolutions, but also to apply upscaling techniques, texture filters, and other visual enhancements without compromising performance. For PS2 emulation, these scores indicate that the device can run practically any game in the catalog at full HD resolution or higher, with significant improvements in visual quality. 3DS emulation also benefits from this processing power, allowing rendering at much higher resolutions than the original hardware. In the case of the Nintendo Switch, these scores suggest that this device has enough power to run most games with comparable or better performance than the original hardware, possibly with graphical improvements. In addition, the high performance in Vulkan is particularly beneficial for modern emulators that use this API, such as some PS3 and Switch emulators, resulting in better optimization and more consistent performance. And to complete this part, let's move on to the next point. The average CPU mark score is really impressive and confirms the exceptional processing power of this portable gaming device. This score places the Phone Pro among the most powerful mobile processors available today, outperforming many mid-range desktop CPUs. This high processor performance, combined with the device's other advanced specification, such as the Radeon 890M GPU with RDNA 3.5 architecture, contributes significantly to its emulation capability and overall gaming performance. It's important to note that while this performance is exceptional for a portable device, it comes at a premium price, with the top-of-the-line model costing close to $1,700. However, for emulation enthusiasts and gamers looking for maximum performance in a portable format, the One X Fly Phone Pro represents a cutting-edge option in today's gaming handheld market, albeit one that is heart-wrenchingly expensive. But to withstand all that power, Thermal and TDP management, as well as a good battery, are necessary, and that's what we're going to talk about now. The advanced cooling system consisting of a liquid-bearing fan capable of reaching 4,700 RPM, aluminum radiator fins with an impressive dissipation area, and three pure copper heat pipes work together to keep the device operating at optimum performance levels for long periods. This thermal efficiency is particularly important for the emulation of more demanding systems such as PS3 and Wii U, which require intensive and sustained use of hardware resources. The ability to maintain controlled temperatures allows the processor and GPU to operate at their maximum speeds for longer, 
avoiding thermal throttling that could compromise emulation performance. In addition, the 48.5 watt-hour battery offers considerable autonomy, although power consumption during emulation can be significant, especially for newer systems. The efficiency of the cooling system also contributes to more efficient use of the battery, as cooler components tend to consume less energy. This is a very important issue and says a lot about whether the device will do well on the market or not, as was the case with the MSI CLAW AONEM device, which, although it had great power, the energy efficiency constantly hindered its performance. I hope this video has been useful and not too boring in understanding the power of this device. Would you invest this amount in it? Let me know in the comments and if possible, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you wish. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.